guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my July favorites. I can't believe July is over. I feel like I say that every single month, but time is just flying by and it seems like summer's already almost over, even though it seems like it just started. So let's jump into everything that I've been loving this month. All right, in the summertime, I try not to wear as much makeup just because I'm more tan and it's just, it's hot outside and it's humid and it's just not comfortable to wear makeup as much in the summer. So I've been focusing a lot on my skincare. I know I've mentioned that quite a bit that I've been kind of playing around with my skincare routine and so I have a couple of skincare products to start out with. The first product I have is by the brand Sanitas. This is the first product that I've used from their line and this is the Vita Rich Serum. I've added this into my nighttime routine and I just take one pump of this, I rub it in my hands and then I pat it into my face. And I like to do this about 30 minutes before I go to bed so that all of the product is absorbed into my skin and doesn't get all over my pillow and everything because that's gross. The next product I have is by Mario Badescu. This is the drying lotion and this has like sediment at the bottom and then kind of an oil at the top. Mine's super gross because it's almost out. But basically you take a Q-tip and you dip it down so that you can get some of the uh, product at the bottom. And then you put it on to any acne that you have and it helps dry it out and make your blemishes go away quicker which is awesome. So I find that this really works and I absolutely love it. I've been using it for a super long time and I've noticed that my active acne is actually going away which I'm so happy about and now I'm kind of transitioning into fixing my old acne scars instead of working on trying to get rid of active acne. Speaking of getting rid of my acne scars, I have been using this Glam Glow. This is the Flash Mud Brightening Treatment and I have been loving it. I bought the little guy just because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it and if you are familiar with Glam Glow, you know that it's pretty expensive. So I didn't want to invest unless I knew that I liked it, but I've been using this nonstop. And basically, I don't know why, maybe I didn't read enough about it, but I wasn't expecting it to be exfoliating, but it is. So when you put it on your skin, you rub it in and then you let it sit for 20 minutes and then you rub it off, you rinse it off. Um, but it exfoliates your skin and I feel like it actually is working. I'm trying to get rid of any of the sunspots and like the old acne scars that I have. So this is attempt number one and I have a couple of other things that you guys will see in my Ulta haul coming up that I'm also trying out, but I don't know if I like them or not yet, so I'm not really talking about them. All right, the last non-makeup product I have is this. It is the Lip Scrub by Sarah Happ, and I have mine in Sparkling Pink Grapefruit. I know they have a bunch of different flavors, or I guess they're scents because you're not supposed to eat them, but whatever, it's a sugar scrub, no reason to tell. Um, but this is just a sugar scrub that you put on your lips, and this is my second jar of this, which is insane because this stuff lasts forever. So you just take a little bit of it and then you scrub it on your lips to exfoliate them and it takes away all of the dead skin and it just leaves your lips so smooth. I know I mentioned in the summer that I don't like to wear a ton of heavy makeup, so I've been using this on repeat. It is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water, and this is a very light formula. It has a dropper and you just take a couple of drops put them on your face and I have been using a stippling brush just to blend it out. That's the easiest way I found to use it. It has pretty light coverage. It just kind of evens out your skin tone. It is by no means a replacement for like a full foundation, full coverage foundation, but it is awesome to wear in the summertime when you're just looking for something with light coverage and something that's not going to be like caking up on your face. I usually set my makeup with the translucent powder by Laura Mercier. But lately I have been using the Hello Flawless Powder by Benefit just because I do have problem skin so I want a little bit of extra coverage when I'm not using a full coverage BB cream or foundation. So I have mine in the color Honey and this just gives me a little bit of extra coverage and sets my BB water. What would summer be without a crazy highlight? This has been the one that I've been wearing a ton lately. It is the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick in the color 700 Spotlight. I did an entire video about this when I got it, so I will link that down below if you're interested in knowing more. But basically, this is a stick, found, uh, stick formula, and this is what it looks like. It just adds such a nice glow to your skin. I'm wearing it today on my cheekbones, and I just absolutely love the way that it looks, especially for summertime when you want that like bronzy, glowy look. Last but not least, this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Lala. This is a gorgeous copper color. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lids today. And I swatched it right below that highlight so you can see. 
I have been going without eyeliner lately, which is totally unheard of for me, and just popping this onto my eyelids and a little neutral in my crease and throwing mascara on and calling it a day. So I've definitely been going along with this whole like not so much makeup, kind of like glowy, bronzy look lately, and I've been loving it. Alrighty guys, that is everything that I have been loving for the month of July. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.